Cute as a cupcake. Where the cupcakes are more than just cute, they're delicious. Get by Cute as a Cupcake at 2008 West 81st in Maryville, Indiana. And if you're located anywhere else in the country and you want these delicious cupcakes delivered to your door, go to www dot cute as a cupcake three dot com and then go to instagram and follow them there cute as a cupcake three on instagram and look at all the beautiful pictures of these delicious cupcakes again that's cute as a cupcake cupcake green bake shop located at 2008 west 81st in maryville indiana Good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome to the 800 Credit Squirrel Man Show. I am your host, Kevin King. He is I, and I am him, the 800 Credit Squirrel Man himself. And once again, thank each and every one of you for coming in and listening to the 800 Credit Squirrel Man Show. I truly, truly appreciate it. So come on, get in here, you guys. Let's get in here and talk about credit this week. Let's talk about all the things credit that you need to know to help you increase your credit scores. You already know if you increase your credit scores, it's going to lower the interest rates that you pay. And that's going to save you money at the end of the day. You'll be able to put away some money for some uh, emergency savings. Maybe you get put some more in your 401k or your IRA. Or maybe you get to save for that vacation whenever COVID allows us to freely travel yet again. But you need to increase your credit scores and doing so absolutely will help you help you. It is a tool in your entire financial picture. It is just one of the tools for you. So there's no reason. There's nothing that you can't come back from when it comes to your credit. You just need to actually do it. You need to learn what you need to do and then actually take action and get it done. So come on in to the 800 credit score man show. Thank you so much for uh, coming back with us every week. Saturdays, two 30, I'm um, on the East Coast, 1.30 Central, and then that means it's 11.30 a.m. on the West Coast. Now, today, we're behind. We're behind today on starting the show, and I'll tell you exactly why. Quite frankly, I am an Indiana Hoosier. I went to Indiana University. Indiana's football team is doing amazing this year, and they're never on TV where I am. They're never on TV in the Chicagoland area, and they were on TV today. So I decided, look, I'm going to watch this whole game. And even though we blew Michigan State out, I still wanted to watch the whole game because I rarely, rarely get to see my squad on TV. So that's why we late today. But we're here now, and let's get into some of the things that's going to help you increase your credit score. Now, before I tell you what we're going to talk about today, because we're going to talk about a plethora of things today. We've got a few things, some information for you. Um, I'm going to give you your annual lecture about going out and spending all your money and getting these credit cards and things of that nature because, you know, Black Friday is coming and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to give you your annual lecture. Every November, I got to remind you guys what not to do when it comes to your credit um, around this time. So we're going to talk about those things today. And I want to tell you this. So I received a letter in the mail from my bank. Well, from yeah, well, actually, I have a credit card with this place, and it's actually my bank. And I received a letter from them earlier this week. And this has never happened. Never happened to me. If it's happened to you before in years past, please let me know. Contact me, 800 at creditscoreman.com. So they send me a letter with an offer in this letter. And it says, I can get 2,000 reward points if I add somebody as an authorized user to my credit card. Now, I've never had that happen to me at all. Typically, you're calling and asking them, hey, can I add somebody to my credit card to become an authorized user? Or you're begging them to be able to do so. But my bank is saying, hey, if you add somebody as an authorized user to your credit card, then we're going to give you 2,000 reward points. And so I thought that was interesting. And I wanted to put that out there to you guys and see if you guys are experiencing some of the same things. And uh, so, I, I mean, I can always use those 2,000 points. I don't know if it's dollar for dollar or whatever it is, but I can always use those 2,000 points. And this is a card that Kobe doesn't happen to be on. So, 
hmm, Kobe could probably stand to be an authorized user on another card if I'm going to get 2,000 points. He's already got a great credit score. It's 780. One day he's going to beat me up for always telling what his credit score is, but it's around 780 at least the last time that I checked. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to add Kobe to this card so I can get these 2,000 points, and perhaps I can use that 2,000 points to maybe buy a gift for someone and not have to come out of my pocket for that particular thing. So, you guys, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout for that and uh, see what happens. Now, I want you to be careful and cautious, of course. Make sure they're not doing anything or asking anything else of you. Or when you call them, if you have to call them to get this done, uh, make sure that you, you know, you're not taking any additional offers where it's going to cause them to pull your credit, you know, a hard pull on your credit. So you're going to get that inquiry and it's going to reduce your credit score. So make sure that's not happening. But when you call them, they might, they're, they're probably going to, um, probably going to go ahead and ask you, do you want something? They're going to solicit you for something. It can be an additional credit card. It can be an increase in your credit limit, something of that nature. But make sure that you um, call with an intent and a purpose, and then you follow through with what you want. All right? Don't get talked into something that you didn't really want and you didn't really need that might impact your credit score in a negative way. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, last week, I asked you guys to give me um, some details when it comes to your credit scores. So if you get your credit score from from a vantage score source whether that is um whether that's credit karma or whether that is credit sesame who also actually uses a vantage score as well i think if you have a chase credit card and you get your score from them that's probably a vantage score as well whoever you're getting your information from if you're getting a vantage score and it's probably vantage score 3.0 the third version of vantage um look and see what that credit score is and then, if you had the opportunity to get your FICO score, I don't care if it's a FICO 8 or it's a FICO 9. I don't think they're giving out FICO 10 for free that I know of. Maybe they are. But if you got the FICO 8, FICO 9, get that score as well. Compare the two. Shoot me an email and let me know which one is higher. So I'm going to probably be asking you this from now throughout the rest of the year because I'm just trying to see if your Vantage score is typically higher or is it typically lower than your FICO score? I'm trying to see what it is. I'll tell you right now, um, this week, because I asked you guys last week, only one person this week, their Vantage score was actually higher than their FICO score of the data that I have so far. Only one person, Vantage score was actually higher than their FICO score. So FICO was typically higher. And then I had one individual whose score was really, really close. So I don't remember if they had a, 708 FICO score and a 706 Vantage score. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's the same thing. They had it really close. Everything was close in there. Close in there. So, send me your information. Send it to me so I can uh, do my own little research and I can let you guys know uh, what that's all about. All right. So, authorized user thing. I want you to be on the lookout um, for that for sure. Some more information for you guys. So, I was looking at. I'm always looking at, you know, what's going on with the credit scoring system, what's happening right now. So, again, credit scores are up yet again. So, uh, earlier in the year and maybe even a year prior, they had reached right over 700. You know, they were around 704, 706 as an average. Well, right now, at least the last data that was collected that I saw, the um, credit scores are at 711 as an average. The average score in America is 711. So if your score is lower than 711, then you got a little bit of work to do. You got some work to do. If you're well below 711, you can might have a lot of work to do. You want help with that work? Contact me. 800 at creditscoreman.com is where you can email me. That's 800 at creditscoreman.com. You can email me so you can get some of that help. But yes, the average score right now is 711, so it's climbing, and hopefully your credit scores are climbing as well. Now, why are they climbing, and will we be able to sustain this? I'm going to tell you a few things that the experts say why they're climbing right now. They're climbing right now. One, they're, they're giving credit to the stimulus package. The stimulus package gave people additional money, even if you were on unemployment. Okay, the stimulus package, you got 1200 bucks, right? 
But then if you were on, on unemployment and you get that extra $600, then they're saying that is the reason that these credit scores are going up. People were actually able to make those payments that they had on time that appear on their credit report. And then they're also saying another reason um, that your scores are, are going up right now is because people were able to have their rent deferred. So they have their rent deferred and you're not um, getting evicted. So nothing negative is going on your credit report. That's been helpful. So people that didn't have to pay their rent, if they if they um, didn't have the money to pay their rent, then they were able to, to go ahead and pay their other bills because they didn't have to pay their rent, which is typically the largest portion of your income that has to come out as far as the bill is concerned. Um, then they said because of student loans being deferred. So you had your student loans deferred. They still may be deferred six months, nine months, 12 months, just because of COVID. So saving, if you will, saving or still having that money left in your pocket allowed you to be able to pay your other bills. When in other times, maybe you would have had an issue. You might have missed something here and there. But because you had that money, then you were able to go ahead and pay those bills. Also, car notes being deferred as well. So if you got a if you got a deferment, didn't have to pay your car note because you bought a new one or because you already had one and that company allowed you to defer, to defer those payments um, for your vehicle, then that also has been helpful in you keeping everything else on track, not getting collections and things of that nature because you were able to pay those bills, pay your cell phone bill, pay that medical bill or whatever it was before it hit a collections um uh, collections for you so those are some of the things that they're saying that are helping you you know and helping the, the credit scores go up now will it last though the experts say no it will not last so we're out of that whole stimulus package no more 1200 bucks no more 600 dollars for unemployment um additional for unemployment so they're saying this won't last so the next time they do some data they're anticipating that those credit scores will fall um, yet again but if you are sitting there and you got a credit score starts with a four a five or a six you need to contact me send me a send me an email 800 at creditscoreman.com now potentially there'll be another stimulus package coming coming around maybe in january maybe in february who knows but another one may be coming around and if that happens then maybe we'll be able to sustain and prolong this uh 7 11 credit score and maybe it'll even grow even higher but um just want to give you guys that information too because it's something for you to gauge yourself off of you know so if you're sitting at a 680 and you're saying okay i'm below what the average is in america right now i always want to be above that threshold so you know keep pushing and keep fighting and then right now it's at 7-eleven if you're sitting at 7-eleven you're sitting at 708 you are in the sweet spot you're right in a place where you need to be. There's some people that are higher, and absolutely there's a bunch of people that are lower than that 7-Eleven. So if you are right there at that 7-Eleven or above, pat yourself on the back, take it, take that pat on the back while you can for right now. And then you've learned some things, I'm sure, throughout this whole time. You've learned some things about credit. You've learned some things about budgeting and your budget in itself. Remember those things when you get back on your feet. When the economy starts to flow again, your job is all good again, you are comfortable with what's going on, remember these things when you get back on your feet so you can keep that keep that going. All right? So oh, let me let me do some shout-outs right quick before I finish uh, the rest of the stuff. So I got a shout-out. Uh, my cousin, Nicole King, she celebrated her birthday the other day. So happy, happy birthday to you, uh, Nicole. I got a shout-out. Sigma Gamma Rose, they celebrated their 98th year. So happy, happy Founders Day. Um, happy anniversary, 98 years, um, Sigma Gamma Rho. Uh, congratulations to, to you ladies. And then I got to give a shout out to Charles Blair. One of my frat brothers celebrated his birthday. John Corral, this is my pledge son. John Corral, um, I want to say happy birthday to you, my man. Uh, Dominique King. That's my niece, y'all. She celebrates her birthday coming up this week on the 16th. So happy early birthday to you, um, Dominique. Andrew King. Yep. 
all relatives everybody named king on this show today is all relatives andrew celebrating his birthday coming up so happy birthday to you cuz and then kim brooks i gotta say happy birthday to you kim brooks as well all right so let me let's jump into uh let's jump into well let me tell you this first let me let me give you your lecture 